morning everyone it's make it monday my name is karen and this is thrifted living thank you so much for joining me today i am going to be creating three different rotating organizers today i went to dollar tree and i found some really fun stuff to try to organize different spaces in our home two of the organizers i'm going to use in the craft room and then one of them i'm thinking about using downstairs in the kitchen but it could also be used in the craft room as well so the supplies that i'm using for these projects are the first thing if i can figure out which one is the top i'll just hold them all up these paper towel holders i actually got six of them i believe to create three organizers and i also have some of these wreath rings there are two of them and they're in the smallest size then i also got some cake pans i got six of them because i'm going to use these to create a lazy susan with marbles as well i got three bags of marbles all of those items are kind of like for the base for the organizers i got some of these makeup brush holders i got a few of them and they're like rubbery and bendable which is nice i also am going to be using some of these bird food baskets that i found in the like new spring section they are really nice they're metal and you can close them like that which i really like i also got some of these binder pouches is that what they're called yeah binder pouches they zip down the side and they also have these spots for to like typically to be put into a binder so those are all the supplies i need i do need to go get my zip ties i think i left them downstairs i'm going to be using them for these projects too let's get to crafting i'm going to be starting with the organizer that can be used in the craft room or i was thinking could also be used in the kitchen so i'm going to take two of these paper towel holders i'm going to be using some of the marbles and the cake pans and then these organizers along with some zip ties that i got at dollar tree i have always thought that these are really nice quality these makeup brush holders what i plan on doing is using zip ties to attach the makeup brush organizer around this top part i think two will almost fit all the way around it but not quite first i'm going to use some zip ties and attach these together like this cut off the excess now i'm going to attach on the other side and then cut off the excess again i love these paper towel holders they can be used in so many different ways now i'm going to attach these to the organizer and i'm thinking what i'm going to try to do is cut these little suction cups off of it because I just think it's gonna make it more bulky than it needs to be. This might actually work. Oh yeah, this is a work just fine. Easy. I thought I was gonna have to use an X-Acto knife, but I didn't need to. So just I'm just cutting off these little suction cups on the back. Oh yeah, it should attach to this much more easily. And what's great about these is they have a little spot right here where the zip cut the zip tie can go in. I'm gonna try my best to have it as organized as I can, but you can also readjust these, which is awesome. This is always the hard part. I almost wish I had another person holding this for me and then tighten it. There we go. I think I actually might want to put a, a zip tie on here because otherwise if I just do it to here, this side is going to stick out a little bit. Tie it one more time. I think I might need to add a couple more of the zip ties because I think once I actually start hanging things on this, it's going to become a little, like not quite as strong. But if I even add just like two more in here, actually, you know, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. On the inside ones, if you can see really close, there are like inside holes and then the outer holes where you, you will actually have things um, displayed. I'm going to put a couple more on the inside so that it's more stable. Yay, so there's one side done. So I'm thinking that you can use these in the craft room or in the kitchen or even in the bathroom for makeup brushes as like it's it was made to be used for but how would you guys use these now the easiest part of all is just setting up the rotating part of this because all you have to do is take two of these cake pans and open a bag of marbles in the middle and then set the one cake pan on top of the other all of the marbles in the bottom of one cake pan and you put the other cake pan on top and then it becomes a lazy susan so now we can put this right in here i tried using the hot glue it didn't work then i tried taking this little wreath form and putting it and then putting it around it for some reason i don't know why that didn't work either 
So I'm going to try maybe taking one of these like knee pads from Dollar Tree and cutting it to size and seeing if maybe that might work to keep everything secure. I'm just going to try to line it up as best I can. Maybe over cut it a little bit. And then I can somehow, I wonder if I can just cut it down the middle and then sort of wrap it around it. So I found the perfect solution to keep this organizer from shaking back and forth. I'm using one of the knee pads from Dollar Tree. I, this works perfectly. It keeps this really stable and now it can spin without having any worry that it'll fall over. So I'm now in the kitchen with this organizer and I'm going to start organizing spatulas and like kitchen items. Let me see what I can find. I kind of like it facing down. Okay, I'm on that side and then I'm gonna try to even it out on the other side. Here it is, it looks great. I think it's going to work really well in the kitchen and now I can easily just turn it like this and get whatever utensil I need. The next organizer that I'm going to work on is a sticker organizer and I'm going to be using two of the paper towel holders again and then the binder pouches. What I'm thinking is I'm going to attach these right here using a, a few zip ties, and then I will be able to rotate the entire organizer. The other thing I was thinking I could do was attach them like this so that they're like a little more hanging, I guess you could say, but I think I'm trying to figure out what would be best. I'm thinking I could attach it to the outside like that. I wanna to try to have the zipper on the outside. Oh, cool, I think it'll work. Okay, so pink, purple, green. And then I'll be able to put the different stickers in each of them. I'm gonna take the marbles, put them in the bottom of the cake pans. going to go through and start adding some stickers. Let me try doing one more thing with it. I'm, I'm constantly changing this. I'm going to try one more thing. So I'm actually putting a zip tie through the bottom. Right now it's better functioning, I think. And now we have the sticker organizer. Oh my gosh. So after a lot of fighting with this, I figured out what I was doing wrong. So. What I was doing wrong is you need two bags of marbles to go into these to make them stable. Kind of like fighting with it, it kept like falling over. And that's because you need two entire bags of marbles to have it be steady. So this is what it looks like. I think it's pretty cool. Um, definitely, you know, I could do a little bit more work to it to like kind of even everything out. It was definitely a learning process. I'm on the last DIY and I thought that I was going to be using these for some of the projects, but I'm not. So I will save them for something else. But the last one is going to be a little more complicated and I don't know that it's going to work. So what I'm hoping to do is taking again, some of the paper towel holders and then using some of these bird food baskets, connecting them. And what I'm thinking about doing is connecting them like one to another like this and then actually using them to organize ribbon. Let's give it a try. I have several different things of ribbon that I can use, but first I'm going to try to set it up. We will see. And I'm going to go ahead and take these hooks off. They're like the little things that you would use to hang it from like a tree or a porch or something. Now I'm going to try to attach these bird food containers to the organizer, to I mean to the paper towel holder. And I'm thinking I can maybe attach two like this. So I'm going to start by taking one of the zip ties. So I have one right here. I'll have to see how this works. I'm, I'm hoping it works the way I'm thinking it will. And I'm going to try to attach this one to the bottom. I think I'm going to put one in the front and try to keep it from sliding around. 
Let's try something completely different. I'm getting a little stuck with the zip ties. So I'm going to try these binder rings. That works a thousand times better. Okay. Wow, I was having a hard time with that. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of them. I'm going to attach the two together and then using a binder ring, I will um, attach it to the organizer. So I have all of these organized now and attached to the paper towel holders, but they are like super wobbly and not really, I don't think it's going to work the way I had planned. But as I was trying to put everything together, I happened to just sort of attach them here like this. And so it almost becomes like a square organizer. So I think what I'm going to do is take this front like door off. All right, so I have all of the little doors off. I think I'm gonna try attaching these um, zip ties to each other. All right, I think I'm going to attach one zip tie at the top to each part and then one at the bottom. Okay, it's done. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. I wasn't planning on having it be a square at first, but I think that this actually works pretty well. I'm trying something a little different. I have these wooden craft dowels and I think what I'm going to do is actually try to put it through the like whole organizer and then just have two things of ribbon organized on each one. So I have the pieces in, I have all of the things of ribbon in and I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a little hot glue but like it's not it's not going to be used to like keep it on anything it's just going to be used to stabilize it because like it is stable but i just want like little bits of hot glue to maybe keep the organizer a little more secure i'm really happy with it at first like this the process of making this did not go the way i had planned but i think it turned out better than i had originally planned so that's always good i'm just gonna let it dry a little bit and then I will give you guys a better look at what it looks like. Here's the last organizer. This one surprised me with how it turned out. It definitely didn't start the way I was planning it to go, um, but then I sort of was able to change things around and make it work for me. I really like how this is in like a square shape now. I like how the wire baskets are keeping the ribbon contained and it's also a great place to have the wooden dowels because I'm able to line everything up. And now I have a nice ribbon organizer and I, I really like that I'm able to change these out as well. So I could just have these different types of rib ribbon for now, but then I can change them up a bit. And I did add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom just to stabilize it. I really think it's cool. So yeah, it was a bit of a surprise, but I think it worked out. And that's it for episode three of Make It Monday. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I created these three rotating organizers. In the comments below, let me know how you guys would use these organizers. Would you use them in the craft room? Would you use them in the kitchen or in the bathroom to organize different items? Let me know what you would do with them. And also let me know which organizer was your favorite. Is there one that you can see yourself using in your home? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Also, make sure that you check the links above. I have links to Dollar Tree DIY playlists, Dollar Tree Shop With Me. I also have several different thrift hauls and garage sale haul videos in playlists, so make sure you check out those links above. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!